kids that didn't fit in, were bullied and everything and kind of like, I don't know, be supportive to the kids that didn't have that older character to kind of look inspiration from. And um, so I ended up studying that and then after a while moving to Australia when I was 18, 19 and I realised that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I wanted to draw, I wanted to do whatever the hell I wanted to do. And um, I met this guy, she didn't really work out and he ended up stealing most of my money and this is where the story actually starts. So my visa in Australia was ending and I had roughly 500 bucks on my account, being kicked out of the country. Uh, didn't know what the fuck I was going to do, didn't really have a job or anything and I was like well $500 where can I go? I need to get out of the country and fly somewhere so I ended up going to New Zealand. I moved to Auckland for a couple of months mainly because it was the cheapest option and didn't know anybody there, I went there by myself, uh, didn't have money for internet, pretty much nothing except barely having accommodation started drawing, started freelancing, I was like, well, I'm going to spend my days making new contacts. So I started connecting or contacting photographers, started contacting people that were in the creative industry and everything and filled my days with photo shoots. And when I didn't have photo shoots, all I did was stay at home and draw. And um, it was basically whether I was going to go nuts sitting by myself not even being able to call my friends, not having money to have internet and Skype and Facebook. So I just started drawing and drawing every day, getting better and better and better and then people started paying me for my drawings and I guess spending the three months by myself and just being like, well this is make it or break it, like you just have to fight for what you want and sometimes losing everything makes you realise what you have within yourself. So I basically lost everything. I lost my money, I lost the country I was living in. Basically I lost my friends because I had to move countries. And all I did was just work on my career. And then that was when I started Instagram. So I guess it's like a year and a half ago, two years. Just did modeling with whoever I found and thought it was amazing with photography and drew and everything. And the Instagram just took off. And then from that, I got people asking to do more shoots, getting interested in my life, getting interested in the work I was doing, the drawings I was doing, the style I was creating for myself, and I guess like started getting followers. And I wouldn't have done it unless I would have taken the chance to actually go out from the country and spend time by myself and completely separate me, myself from my past. Um, got back to Australia, did this and that, went to America, travel, went to Asia, kind of at the same time drawing and creating what I do now. Um, 
started tattooing half a year ago and that just completely took off and I can't believe like there's people that actually want to get tattooed by me. Like it's still like, for me it's just my art and for somebody else to think it's cool it's kind of like weird because I'll look at my things and I'm like I could do this so much better now and I could change that and I could do that why would you why would you trust me enough to get tattooed but then again like I get tattooed by my friends that I've never tattooed and I do it because I just wanted to get tattooed by that person it doesn't really matter if it's cool or not like it's more to do about the experience of tattooing I guess um but yeah tattooing to cough it's crazy I haven't even been able to take any new clients for a couple of months because I've been so booked out and I just want to take care of my old clients and the people that came to me first and gave me the chance to basically practice on them and now they're coming back for more work and being like oh you did my leg piece I want you to do my full back or my full sleeve and it's just amazing it's and I can't ever put it into words how grateful I am for all those people and all those opportunities I had and um, again just working on myself constantly working on my drawing constantly working and that's the only way you can make it it's just basically what you have to do is make a list of 10 things that are the most important things to you in life and then cut it to five and that's it and the rest of the five on the list of ten are going to be your future goals your work what you want to do in life what you feel like you should be doing and like let's say oh, I enjoy going to the movies I enjoy going out and drinking well this Saturday fuck drinking you're staying at home you're drawing you're making those contacts like it's a lot of sacrifice it's a lot of being by yourself or even actually moving to somewhere where you don't know anybody and just spending the time by yourself and soul searching and finding what you actually do want to do and then making like an actual plan of you know I'm gonna do this this is happening I'm gonna make it and then working on it it's gonna be hard and there's gonna be a lot of freaking haters people telling you your shit there's gonna be people being like oh you have so many tattoos, you must worship the Satan, or you must be on crack, or you must be using this and that, and you're gonna get a lot of hate from it, but from everyone hater, you're gonna get 10 people that actually love what you do. Unless you're a complete douchebag, then you're gonna get 10 haters and one person that actually likes you. And we don't wanna do that. Just, you know, I guess, believe in yourself, be a good person, believe that if you give good to others they'll give you back um, same shooting with these guys they've been rad to me so I'm rad to them and we're doing collaborations again don't burn your bridges always keep working on new things running fast for oh so long finding my own path when will I get home I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know 